everyone, I'm Charlie from Dr. Wen, and welcome to yet another daily Dr. Who YouTube video. Today, I will be telling you my predictions for series 13 of New Who, so that is Dr. Who since 2005. There have already been 12 series, one with the 9th Doctor, three with the 10th Doctor, three with the 11th Doctor, three with the 12th Doctor, and two so far with the 13th Doctor, but she is definitely returning for a third series. So I'm just going to be explaining my predictions for this new series. It's commonly known among the Doctor Who fandom that series 11 and 12 weren't that well received. They had generally lower ratings and lower viewer counts, but personally, I quite like the two series. Series 11 is my least favourite, but it's still very good, and series 12 was incredible, in my opinion. So, yes, this isn't going to be my ideal series, but it's going to be predictions that I have for the coming series, whether I like them or not. So, here we go. First off, I'm going to talk about the air date of series 13. Um, it, it's confirmed that we're going to have the same sort of format that we did before, we're going to have 10 50 minute episodes, each one airing on a Sunday. And filming hasn't even started yet for series 13, the showrunner Chris Chibnall has said, and which makes me think it's going to be in mid to late 2021. I'm, I can see it being on the, the first episode airing on Sunday the 26th of September 2021, and there being 10 Sunday installments until we get to the 28th of November 2020, which is when the finale is, and that will set up the New Year's or Christmas special quite nicely. I'm guessing it will be that long because most of the time then, usually then editing takes quite a while for Doctor Who and all the CGI and things like that, so we shouldn't expect it for too soon after filming has stopped but I think filming is due to continue around September. So it'll probably, yeah, it'll probably be broadcast then, unfortunately, which isn't ideal. I know it will be like 18 months in between series, but because of the whole COVID-19 situation, then unfortunately that's how it's going to be. Next up, I will talk about the characters of series 13. It is definitely confirmed that Jodie Whittaker will return to the 13th Doctor role, and I'm quite happy with this actually. Hopefully then she'll have three series, just like the previous three Doctors, the 10th, 11th and 12th Doctors all had three series, so I think that it would work nicely if the 13th Doctor had three series and regenerated either in the finale of series 13 or possibly in the Christmas New Year special. It's also confirmed that um, that Mandip Gill is returning to the role of Yasmin Khan, which is quite good because she is my favourite of the three companions that the 13th Doctor has at the moment. Graham and Ryan are sadly leaving the Christmas special, which I think I said sadly, but I won't actually be that sad because I don't think they were the best companions. Graham was definitely better than Ryan, um, but... Yeah, I don't think it will be as sad as some others. My prediction of how they will go is probably that Ryan will die and Graham will get really angry at the Doctor, which will develop his character before he goes back to live on Earth. Well, in terms of other characters, then, I think... I'm guessing the Master will return, the um, Sasha Dewan Master, and maybe even a multi-master story for the for the finale, with him and either John Sim, Michelle Gomez, or both, that would be brilliant as well. Um, and I have a good feeling Jack Harkness will return. He made an appearance in Fugitive of the Jadoon, thinking that Graham was the Doctor, but I think it would be nice to have him in a few episodes. It's also confirmed that he's returning for Revolution of the Daleks, the Christmas special this year, which will be nice. Also, I think the Ruth Doctor will return, because it still hasn't explained where the Ruth Doctor fits into the Doctor's timeline. I have multiple theories on this, so I definitely go and check out the video or put one of those cards in for it. But I think we'll have a good range of characters actually. I think they will try to step it up with character development for Yaz as well. I don't think her character was as developed as, say, Graham's was in the first two series, except in maybe the episode Can You Hear Me with series 12. So I think it will be good to develop her character before she presumably leaves at the end of series 13 or 14. In terms of plot, firstly, I really hope it answers all of the questions we've had 
brought up in series 12 of Doctor Who and slightly series 11. For example, where does the Ruth Doctor fit into the Doctor's timeline? What is the time division? What was Jack Harkness doing in that spaceship? Um, Please can the Timeless Child be explained? Who is Tech Dayun? And there are loads, loads of other things that we're dying to know, especially where the Master went. And, um, yeah, I do think that there will be a Dalek story somewhere, because they didn't have one for Series 12, unless you're counting Revolution of the Daleks, and they only had one in Series 11 with the New Year Special Resolution. I think it would be nice just to have a mid-series Dalek maybe even two-parter. I think that would be nice as well. And I think, unfortunately, instead of having a blast of information answering every question in the first episode, we're going to be drip-fed it throughout the series, which I don't think, again, I don't think it's ideal, but I think that's how it's going to be, and we're going to get another big reveal in a finale that kind of explains everything. Um, I was... I, uh, also think that there's going to be an overarching series plot, which would be nice, because I do quite like them. I think they're generally better series if they do have an overarching plot, such as Bad Wolf, The Cracks in Time, The Impossible Astronaut, and River Song, Madame Curary, and things like that. I think I prefer series that have an overarching plot, unlike ones like, ser like Series 11, which just have a bit of a loose kind of villain returning, I think that was a bit silly. Um, but yeah, I think there's going to be some sort of overarching plot, they're going to answer all questions, and also, I really hope they get off Earth. All of Series 12, except the Timeless Children, were set on Earth, sadly, um, Timeless Children were set on Gallifrey. But either, I appreciate how they try to do different things with modern Earth, future Earth, past Earth, things like that, because for example in Spyfall, part 1 and 2, we have um, uh, we had present Earth and past Earth. In Orphan 55, we had future Earth, you know, orphan planet Earth. In Nicola Tesla's Night of Terror, we had past Earth, fugitive, the Jadoon, then we had present Earth, can you hear me? We had past Earth and a bit of a spaceship, I guess. Um, Haunting of Villa Diodatic and Ascension of the Cybermen, we had Earth, and obviously in Timeless Children we had Gallifrey. So I wish they could go at least a little bit further than the orbit of Earth. Series 1 was noted for this as well, how it didn't really get off the orbit of the Earth. I think it would be nice to explore new planets, but at the moment it doesn't have the highest budget, so I can't imagine they do that much with it because the CGI might not allow it. I think it would be interesting to for the Doctor to have another exile, actually. I think that's the only way having... Uh, lots of earthy stories would work, a lot like with the third Doctor when he had four series, three series of Exile. I thought that was quite a good idea budget-wise, and I think it would be quite smart if Doctor Who did the same. But if they're just on Earth for no reason, it won't really make much sense and wouldn't be very, very well received, just like series 12. That's my opinions on what will happen with a lot of this series. Other ideas I have for the series, things that don't really fit into any of these other categories, include a new companion. I think it would be nice if the series possibly brought back Jack Harkness or the Ruth Doctor quite a lot as not necessarily a proper companion like Yaz, but a recurring character in, say, three or four episodes, like the opening to one in the middle and one at the end or something similar to that. I think that would be nice, but I think this is one of the least likely things on this list. I think most of it is just going to be the 13th Doctor and Yaz. I also think they're going to bring back other villains because... Lots of people don't like the new ones because they don't have many returning villains. Probably what they tried to do with Series 12, bring back the, um, the Cybermen in Ascension of the Cybermen and um, Haunting Villa Diodati, and they're obviously bringing back the Daleks in Revolution of the Daleks. I think they're going to bring back some older ones like the Ice Warriors, the Silurians, and maybe the Sontarans. I think having them as an actual villain would be really good. And yeah, I think, I think they're going to bring back some older villains. So that's my opinions on series 13, guys. Let me know your opinions on what will happen in the comments down below. And make sure to subscribe. I noticed I do have a higher amount of subscribers now. I've had two in the last day, actually. Now I'm on 31, which is quite impressive, actually. I'm quite happy with that. But it would still be really nice if you did subscribe, and I'd really appreciate it as well. And check out my previous video where I reviewed the Classic Who episode, Doctor Who and the Silurians. I'll see you then, and goodbye next time. What is my favourite episode of the classic story, Doctor Who and the Silurians? 
What's my least favourite? And what are the ones in between? What are my opinions on every episode of this classic story? Let's find out tomorrow, where I rank all seven episodes of the third Doctor story, Doctor Who and the Silurians.